Hi, I'm Chef Bonnie, and today I'd like to show you how to make kale chips. Kale is one of the healthiest vegetables around. So if you usually don't eat kale, you've got to try this recipe. You'll love it. So after you've washed your kale and dried them the best you can, we're going to start tearing the leaves into bite-sized pieces. Um, so when you look at a kale leaf like this, this center, the center stalk, we are not going to use at all. We're going to tear the leaves. In fact, if you start from the top and tear downward, and just it just kind of works its way down the center of the center of the leaf. So just start tearing some bite-sized pieces. And then start on the other side. And just start pulling it down the center, ripping these off. So this is pretty much what you end up with, and we're going to toss. Okay. So this is what you get at the end, bite-sized kale leaves. Isn't it beautiful? Oops. <laughs> beautiful green color. Love it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the oil and the salt. Um, I have my canola oil in this container, which I like because it comes out in really thin streams. But uh, if you don't have this, I would say, um, let's start with a tablespoon. So here's a tablespoon. Okay, I'm gonna fill the tablespoon up to the top and just kind of drizzle it slowly all over. And what you're looking for is when you toss this, that all the leaves have some oil on it. This is the salt. Uh, this is a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Um, not sure if I'm gonna use it all, probably will. My husband likes this more on the salty side. So if you remember, I started with a whole bunch of kale. One tied bunch that I got from the supermarket and that gave me what you see right here. Actually I think I probably will use the rest of salt so this was a half a teaspoon. So personally I think half a teaspoon might be on a little bit on the salty side. So you know make it once and then if it's too salty then when you do it again you just cut back. You'll find what you like. I'm going to dump them out onto our baking sheet. Now I've uh, preheated my oven to 350, uh, 325 if you have a convection oven. Spread the kale out. It doesn't have to be a single layer. They can be on top of each other, it's fine. But what you probably want to do is uh, every five minutes or so, just go in and toss them so they get good rotation. Okay? All right. So now we're going to put into our oven. Set the timer for five minutes. And then five minutes, I'm going to go in and give it a nice little toss. And then I'll uh, set it for five more minutes. And... All that kale should probably be, um, depending on your oven, somewhere between uh, 10 and 15 minutes. All right, so here you go. Now, if you remember, this bowl was pretty full and the kale chips shrunk down to this. So can you hear that? Very light, very crispy. I'll try one. Very good. Mm, yum. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, happy eating.